Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Friday, June 10th, 2022. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, Thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're out and about today, take some time and give God praise. Because He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today was taken from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 36. In verse number 26, this is our key verse for the next uh Several days, Scripture says, A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. We're talking this week, we'll we'll not finish it today, but we're going into next week as well, talking about the new heart that God is going to give us, and then we're going to go and we're going to talk about the new spirit that God gives us when we've accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior. And he says here in verse 26, I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. So in other words, what God's going to do is going to take out that stony heart, which is hard and and doesn't go toward the things of God. It's stubborn. It stays away from that stuff. And he's going to replace it with a heart that's going to be tender and responsive to the things of God. And then there's some things that we have to remember, we have to understand uh, we already looked at Jeremiah seventeen nine, where we discovered that the heart the heart is deceitful. So our old stony heart is deceitful. We got to make sure we replace that because we can't have things like that in our life anymore. And then yesterday we looked at Proverbs chapter four and verse twenty three, where he said to keep thy heart with all diligence, to keep our heart safe with all diligence. And today we're going to look at Psalm fifty one. Because if we've given our lives to Christ, then we need to make sure that we ask God to do something here. It's Psalm 51 and verse number 10. David writes, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. See, that's asking God to replace that deceitful heart, that stony heart, that stubborn heart. He says, Create in me a clean heart, O God. And as a result of that clean heart, He says, and renew a right spirit within me. We can't have that right spirit that God wants us to have, which is the second part of this series. We can't have that right right spirit unless we get that heart cleaned up and unless we get that clean heart that God is promising us here when he says, I will put in that new heart. And that clean heart, we want to make sure that we guard it with all diligence so that it doesn't go back to being that deceitful heart that we once had, that God had replaced. So friends, as you go through this day, ask God to give you that clean heart. Ask God to restore that that right spirit within you so that you can be the person he wants you to be and so you can live the life that he wants you to live. Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you and then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day.